be experiment one, basic techniques, table two. And uh, I've got my procedure here for uh, uh, part B, using a graduated cylinder to measure volume. It says record the mass of the clean, dry, graduated cylinder. Uh, I think I have the edited version uh, that I accidentally printed out. And previously we said it could be a 25 or a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, I happen to have a 50 with me today. Um, and it says, uh, oh, I did forget in the last one to take a picture of my pipette. So anyway, make sure you do that. Um, but now we're on the graduated cylinder. It says record the mass of a clean, dry, uh, graduated cylinder. Oh, so let me get my scale out again. Let it come to zero. Let the little dot appear. Put on my graduated cylinder. And I'm going to make sure it's all the way over the scale. There's my dot. I get 20.68 grams. And so 20.68 grams is what I'm going to write for my mass of graduated cylinder. And that's going to be in grams, that number. Oop, hopefully you can see that. Now it's time to take the temperature of my water again. Turn it on, press mode twice for mine. Some of them just, it just appears. This time for me, I get 24.7 degrees Celsius. So I'll turn that off. Write down 24.7 degrees. Degrees Celsius. There we go. Now I'm going to do mass of grad cylinder plus water. See if that'll fit there. Good. And it says measure out 20 milliliters of the room temperature distilled water. I'm going to measure this carefully away from my computer. And I'm going to get it close to 20. Actually, I'm very close. And what I'm going to do, oh, yeah, is use droplets to get it exactly to 20. And you want to look straight across at the 20 line to line it up exactly. So, mine is a little below the 20 line, so I'm going to Yep, right at the 20 line. And I'm just going to leave my pipette in my water there. And on this one, there's actually blue markings and uh, markings that are actually printed on the graduated cylinder. I'm using the markings printed on the graduated cylinder, and that's fine. If you don't, if you use the fill, so my markings on the other side have been wiped off somewhat. So um, use the ones that are actually on it. And now I'm going to come back over here, wait for my dot, put it back on there, and I get 41.47 grams. And uh, this time, uh, according to the instructions, and talks about the meniscus too. So please read over these as you go with it, as you go through the lab. Talks about the meniscus, take a picture of the meniscus um, in the graduated cylinder. That means you're gonna want a picture looking straight across at the meniscus, which is this interface between, oops. Yeah. Anyway, get that picture, record the mass of the graduated cylinder with your water in it. Empty your graduate cylinder and carefully measure out another 20 milliliters. So I've got my waste beaker here. Empty it out. You don't have to dry it out because you're just putting water in it again. And now, I guess I do have to take that out. Pour in 20 more milliliters. Uh, 
And this time, I'm a little farther away from 20. And this time, I'm going to pick it up and add my 20 like this. That looks like my 20. And you're probably going to get a different value because you're just estimating it. There. There's my dot. 40.72. Okay. That's fine. Uh, repeat the measurement um, and record the mass again. So here we go. That's pretty good, but not perfect. Actually, at like that time I got to pour a little out. All right, so let's fill it up, looking straight across. There we go. Weigh it again. Wait for the dot. 41.00, which is a good number, only because it's gonna make the calculations fun. And you'll note that I've written down all of the decimal places no matter what because those decimal places are significant. I know it's not 41.01, it's 41.00. So that's all we need this time to fill out this table. Let's go ahead and complete table two. Mass of water this time is going to be, uh, be and again, because we emptied it every single time, we will always be subtracting off just the mass of the graduated cylinder. So I'm actually gonna do this one with the 41. It's gonna be 41.00 minus 20.68. I love units with numbers, so I'm gonna write my G's down there. And I'm still gonna do the math on my calculator. And this time it's gonna be 41, and again, you don't have to put in the zeros for the calculator, minus 20.68. I get 20.32 grams. This has four significant figures. And you're gonna do these two in exactly the same way by subtracting off this number. And again, that's different. We're doing it differently. Remember last time we kept adding to the beaker each time two milliliters. This time we emptied it. And those are two methods that we're gonna use throughout this course. Good to have them both down now and good to know how to do the calculations for each of them. Uh, now let's go ahead and do our density. So this time it's gonna be 20.32 uh, grams divided by 20.0 milliliters. And again, uh, we haven't talked about this in the video yet. It does talk about it in the lab itself. When you look at these, the markings on your graduated cylinder are every one milliliter. When the markings are one milliliter apart, you can then do one more decimal place. So you can read to the nearest tenth of a milliliter. So uh, that means, that's why the graduated cylinder has three sig figs and the pipette only has two. Its markings are 0.5 milliliters, so we go to the nearest uh, 0.1 milliliter. All right, so uh, let's do this out. 20.32 divided by 20, 1.016. That's gonna be grams per milliliter. 
And now you have two choices how you report this. One choice is you go ahead and you uh, underline the third digit or the third significant figure, which would be the one, and write that number in here. And these are going to be grams per milliliter. And I should underline that third significant figure. That's a fine choice. Another choice is to round it to three sig figs and write that down. And I'm rounding this one to a two based on the sixth. Either of those is a fine choice for doing it. Pick a method and use it throughout your lab, please. And the other two are going to be similar to the one that we just did. And those are all the calculations and the procedures for this one. Let's see. Yep, yep.